Hi, hello, this is Dr. Prasad Pudhilam, continuing the class series on uh, research methodology and intellectual property rights. Uh, it's introduced in the scheme 21 RMI uh, 56, it's the fifth semester of Isheshara Technology University, common to all branches. So here I'm giving the uh, question answer type, including the course outcome. Uh, as well as the revised Bloom's taxonomy level. So, this is the syllabus for uh, module 2. Uh, from that, uh, the first uh, portion already completed in previous uh, class and now continuing. So, this is the course outcome uh, which are uh, there in the syllabus, means how after completing or after learning this subject, uh, the students what they are supposed to learn or what they are supposed to become able to. Okay, CO1, CO2, CO3, CO4, and CO5 is given. So this is the textbook which is given as the prescribed textbook for uh, reference purpose. This is freely downloadable. You can download it uh, uh, from the using a Google search engine or what other search engines. Okay, so coming to the point 2.3 and 2.4, the bibliographic databases, effective search the way of way forward. That was the topic given in the syllabus. So based on that, a question is framed. Describe the significance of uh, bibliographic databases like Web of Science and their role in aiding researchers to access uh, scholarly articles efficient, efficiently while highlighting the limitations of search engines like Google Scholar in academic context. This is connected to the course outcome 2, CO2 uh, with RBT level 3, uh, 10 marks I am giving. It can be either increased to higher mark or it can be reduced based on the uh, answer key details we are giving in the answer key okay so answer key is given bibliographic databases web of science google and google scholar navigating scholarly publications effective information retrieval tools strategies and ongoing learning okay so bibliographic databases come before i give a general uh, uh, explanation for that bibliographic databases uh, like the web of science they are the special uh, specialized uh, respiratories, uh, repositories, uh, uh, that is storage place, not the respiratory, respiratory means uh, taking a breath, uh, repositories, uh, that is the storage place in the internet cloud uh, with the uh, academic articles or the research articles, uh, anything which is uh, uh, something which is having more genuinity. So this also provide us uh, features like uh, the even the citation analysis also available. And if you compare the web of science uh, with that of uh, Google or uh, the Google Scholar, Google and Google Scholar it is a search engine which is um, more general. It will uh, scan, Google will scan the entire internet based on the request what you put, but may lack the specificity and uh, the reliability which is very crucial for uh, academic research. Just gathering information, uh, Google is far, be far better, no need to go to web of science. But uh, academic research when it comes, uh, scientific research when it comes, uh, better to go for a web of science than a Google Scholar. Uh, recently, the AI assisted uh, uh, search engines are also there. Uh, these are little bit more uh, enhanced than that of uh, Google, I could say. It offer uh, a midway of uh, information. You have to balance, you have to compre comprehend it uh, compared to the available method available in the web of science. So bibliographic databases serves as an extensive uh, repositories. Uh, means these databases are digital libraries, uh, which stores vast information or vast amount of scholarly information and provides a centralized platform for the researcher to access the academic articles and resources. So, uh, vital role for uh, accessing academic articles. Um, they are uh, indispensable tools for researchers. It offers a systematic way to access the academic articles, uh, research papers and other uh, scholarly resources which are very crucial for their work. Web of Science. Uh, uh, it's widely acclaimed and frequently used academic database. Web of Science it is a globally recognized and uh, extensively used database in uh, academic uh, and research uh, circles 
known for its comprehensive coverage of the uh, literature the scholarly scholarly literature it allows uh, targeted searches uh, researchers they can perform uh, a specific uh, and uh, targeted research within the web of science uh, narrowing down uh, research based on the parameters uh, such as uh, the uh, authors uh, title uh, keywords used and many more as per uh, their uh, need they can search it it enables refining uh, uh, search result based on uh, citation frequency this is one of the unique uh, feature uh, which is there uh, with the web of science uh, the ability to refine our search uh, search results based on um, how frequently articles have been cited it providing uh, a metric for assessing the impact and influence of particular piece of search okay so for rigorous search uh, research databases like web of science offer more reliable and focused uh, result so researchers they should prefer web of science for the uh, rigorous uh, research for their project because it ensures more reliable and uh, focused result when compared to the other general search engines google google and uh, google scholar ubiquitous search engine uh, with uh, inherent limitations though we use google and google scholar uh, which is very easily accessible the limitation is like uh, in the context of academic research because it scan the entire internet uh, and uh, the data which they search uh, most are may not be reliable some people simply they uploaded uh, data without uh, uh, further review or uh, discussion so it's it depends uh, variable uh, reliability is there some some are reliable some are may not be reliable okay scan the inter internet making it changing to certain information uh, reliability uh, because all the information which are available in the internet uh, are not academic credible that is what it means google scholar may include questionable resources though when we search for the uh, scholarly content uh, it may include uh, questionable or uh, the so called the non peer reviewed resources necessitating questions in usage okay so that what i said it is not peer reviewed uh, uh, so further we get more questions so peer reviewed one the number of questions uh, that we can ask will be less because almost all the data details will be available there in the yeah, peer reviewed uh, resources optimization strategies include using codes and relevant uh, keywords so this is a search engine google it searches google uh, using the strategies like uh, it encloses the phrases that the codes and relevant keywords okay if keyword is given somewhere and some else data is there that also will be given by the google okay so for academic research scientific research google and google scholar is not sufficient navigating uh, scholarly publications uh, crafted by the subject matter experts for expert audience uh, the publication the research publications which are uh, authored by an expert uh, in a specific field of their research it ensuring that the content is tailored uh, and uh, an audience uh, with a deep understanding of the subject matter is there. it rigorously cite all sources the publications uh, rigorously cite all the sources and uh, references used in the research promoting the transparency uh, verifiability and uh, acknowledging the intellectual contributions of others and telling in general about the uh, bibliographic sources undergo uh, thorough peer review process the bibliographic uh, resources uh, before publication the scholarly article undergo a rigorous peer review process the other experts in the field critically assess the work for uh, accuracy quality and validity 
effective information retrieval the tools the strategies and for the how we can learn for the to get the effective information to gather uh, to retrieve so practical knowledge and insights available in accessible formats like magazines uh, that means uh, beyond the regular research publications valuable uh, practical knowledge and the information are available uh, which are more accessible formats like magazine or the trade publications by the companies utilizes uh, uh, various uh, search tools and platform for a comprehensive information spectrum to obtain a comprehensive understanding of uh, the topic that it is selected a researcher should uh, uh, search various uh, tools uh, search tools or such platforms and they should recognize that no single source can provide all the required information comparison is required analysis is required okay so carefully considering the type and the likely sources uh, of information needed the researcher should uh, uh, they should decide or they should thoughtfully consider that the type of information which is required and where uh, it's likely to be found uh, and acknowledging uh, that not all relevant resources are uh, available online. Iterative search processes. The search process it should be or it is iterative. The researcher experiment with the keywords, adapt the strategies based on the results that they, that they are getting, explore references in the discovered articles for an additional valuable sources. Uh, reading and uh, synthesis uh, the next uh, topic uh, subtopic that I uh, took thorough reading uh, and uh, not making uh, uh, preparing the notes uh, and comparative analysis uh, these are the essential components of uh, effective uh, information retrieval which uh, ensures that uh, our deep uh, understanding of the material process may need repetition uh, repetition for a comprehensive understanding information retrieval uh, collecting the information uh, literature review process uh, it's not a one time task repetition may be very much necessary to build a comprehensive understanding especially if uh, the subject that we to keep it is a complex subject area developing the reading skills uh, efficiency in reading complex articles requires a uh, uh, practice and uh, refinement if it is a complex article uh, reading a complex article uh, or the efficiency gaining efficiency in reading the complex article it's a skill which uh, that improves with the practice uh, and uh, refinement over time there is no teacher to teach that we have to do it ourselves and learn that's what we call as uh, doing research or uh, the so-called the doctoral degree that the researcher only have to do a guide only can guide but the information gathered that how they gathered how they present that reflects when the end when they submit the report and present it Improvement over time with the gained experience. As researchers gain experience, their ability to read and uh, comprehend the complex articles uh, it becomes more and uh, more uh, effective and it will improve. Active reading and uh, con uh, consideration. Uh, information retrieval is the initial phase. Initial phase uh, uh, while information retrieval uh, it marks the beginning. Actually, active reading and uh, thoughtful consideration are essential and the subsequent uh, steps in the research uh, process. Invest time in developing uh, personal ideas and uh, uh, insights. Researchers should invest their time in uh, developing their own ideas and insights based on the uh, acquired information contributing to the generation of uh, the new the knowledge the new knowledge that they are getting okay. that's about uh, effective uh, type uh, strategy 
regarding uh, bibliographic resources i think uh, i have collected uh, some uh, separated of some uh, points from the textbook uh, to answer that question and uh, my explanation uh, may not be sufficient you have prefer the textbook points so you can note down the points which is given there refer the textbook and be ready for uh, uh, doing research okay please do subscribe uh, to my youtube channel and support me the name of my youtube channel is my intuition uh, 4865 uh, thank you very much for uh, watching my videos